Hi guys, this is Brian Hashmeyer with Brant. They want to talk to you a little bit today about um, zinc. We stand out here in our research farm. We've got corn behind me and, and right below me at several different stages everywhere from V1 to V3 to V5 at different planting dates. Um, and it's just a great time to talk about what are we going to do next uh, in the field. What are your opportunities from a micronutrient point of view? The number one most important micronutrient in corn is zinc. And it's also the most widespread uh, deficiency in corn as far as micronutrients go. The deficiencies that you'll have or the needs you have vary by region. As you move to the western corn belt, you have higher uh, soil pHs and you could have zinc, manganese, and iron issues. You got pockets in Indiana that have manganese issues. You go up north, um, as the soil pHs go up, they have manganese and iron. So every field's a little bit different. You have to assess that and understand your own fields. Uh, but almost in all cases, uh, corn is responsive to zinc applications. Uh, zinc's really uh, important for auxin production in uh, corn. And in fact, most mild zinc deficiencies, you'll never see a symptomology to it. Um, but from running trials and over the years, I can tell you that a plant that has higher zinc level versus one that has lower ones, um, we can see difference in height because uh, the auxin uh, promotes the growth and we can see difference in the, the width of the leaves, which is really important when you're trying to capture that sun and photosynthetic activity. So when you guys are trying to dry these higher yields and you're looking at your tissue test levels and you look at what is acceptable, you might see charts that say anywhere from 20 to 80 parts per million. You typically don't see the actual deficiencies until you get below 30 parts per million. But corn can be responsive even at higher levels, particularly for guys that are planting higher pops or trying to push those higher yields. When you start to see actual deficiency symptoms, they tend to be on the fully expanded new leaf and it tends to be chlorotic in the middle part of the leaf. Whereas in manganese or iron, you may see that the whole upper part of the leaves are chlorotic all the way through. So that is one uh, way to tell that apart. So the best product that Brandt has to address this is Brandt Smart Trio. It has zinc, manganese, sulfur, and boron. Um, this is a product we've tested for the last 10 years at least. Typical yield responses, we're seeing anywhere from three to seven bushels per acre average. Um, so the win rates and the return to you growers is pretty dramatic. Uh, so when you're looking for a great product to try, Brandt Smart Trio makes a lot of sense. The questions I get all the time about making fuller applications over corn, particularly at these earlier stages is, hey, I'm spraying the sun and I feel like 85% of it's hitting the ground and the soil and not the actual plant. Is it still effective? Uh, and the answer to that is overwhelmingly yes. The most limiting layer to micronutrients getting in through the crop is getting them through the waxy cuticle. The plants have a waxy layer on their leaves that prevent uptake of micronutrients and really any type of water getting through and out of the plant. The smart system technology allows the micronutrients to move through the cuticle much more efficiently um, and that is the most limiting layer to do that. Um, the other really important factor about the smart system is it allows you to mix with herbicides, uh, particularly glyphosate, uh, Liberty, uh, Atrazine, a lot of the common herbicides in the corn market. So for guys who, who have not made micronutrient applications, this V3 to V8 is probably the place I would start. Uh, it's easy to do, you're usually going across the field anyways taking that herbicide application. So if you want to pick something to start with, Brandt Smart Trio would be the product I recommend. So to sum it up, guys, what you really need to think about doing is Brandt Smart Trio in that range of one to two quarts per acre between V3 to V8. Uh, you can make the application with your herbicide application. Uh, it'd be a great boost to your corn crop Average three to seven bushels per acre. Win rate, 80%. This has been one of our best performing products. 